Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to another Who's That Indie. Today's indie being Terrorarium. Terrorarium? Terrorarium! Which is basically Pikmin, but a much smaller budget. Very safe to say that. And you have to do more puzzles. So let's start with level one. The kids just got released outside. Oh no, they're everywhere. But yeah, basically, you're this guy. You have millions of little buggers. How do I do anything again? Oh, where's my controller? Controller! Where's my controller? Okay, can't find my controller, so we're pressing this every time I need to figure out something. So how do I interact? It's E. Okay, so yeah, I'll be pressing escape every now and then to learn how to things. Press shift to aim your moogles, press left button to love them. Okay. Oh, I see. So as you can see, I use them to throw up and break things. What's this? Lob moogle at the force field, destroy to earn your first prime specimen. So you can see you break the force field, you lose your moogles, and then you just... I don't touch it, I guess. Yeah. That's the objective. You get your prime specimens by killing off the little ones. Simple as that. Basically, it goes along, so you start off, let's have a look. Press and hold spacebar to beckon. You press spacebar, they come to you. Oh, come here. Mugu breed of Mugu corpses. Cool. That's not creepy. So they breed with the dead to make more of them. So they're not the kind of thing you want at funerals. Okay, what do we need for this? 25, I have 12. Thank you. Ow! Hit myself. Recently born Moogle aren't fertile. Okay, so we have to wait around? So I haven't played for a while, yeah. The objective is, as you can see, you get more corpses, you breed them with other corpses. It's really, really, really someone's interesting idea of it. Yeah, you breed with the corpses. You don't resurrect them, you breed with them. That was the phrase, you literally breed with them. Come here, you. So let's get our little corpse piles up and running. Oh yeah, this is the game. There are different things you can do. It slowly starts teaching you more and more stuff as time goes by, of course. There's actually quite a fair few challenges. But each and every level is a small, mini, self-contained mission. There we go. So let's go. Come here. So there's different types of Mugu as well. There's actually special abilities and things as they can have, which you pick up as time goes by. But it's entirely based of you getting the prime specimen. Now I've played a few Pikmin-style games. Like I have always liked Overlord. That might play on the channel. I loved um, Pikmin itself. <laughs> go and done and that's it that's what you do so you wipe out them and you slowly just get more prime specimens you don't keep the prime specimens just get the prime specimens what's this press tabs between mugu type can you carry two types at once there we go mugu special abilities press control to target and float with the gassy mugu press e to consume so i have gassy mugu now Right, so, what? Let's break this down first. Okay, do I want to go there? Whoa! Okay. So yeah, as you can see, there's different abilities. What's this? You need at least one living Moogle to collect it. That's simple. So it's a little bit awkward with the targeting, like where I landed and where it was aiming was different there, but you get the idea. Gassy Mugu. Facetious and flaky Mugu are different to pin, difficult to pin down, yeah. You can safely walk in water, but Mugu will drown. So I can't walk in spikes because they hurt me. Mugu can. Press Q 
There we go. So they're going to stay here. I'm going to walk through the water, and they're going to go walk, walk through the spikes. As you can see, it slowly becomes more and more about what you can and cannot do for your Mugu. So cue to dismiss, space to call them. Do they have they fixed this? Nope, not yet. So they still get stuck. As you can see, the AI power finding is not good. Which is a shame, but you know, like I say, indie thing. So let's talk over there. Now I could easily just go back and get them, but why would I? Let's get five. So there's all sorts of things you can do, like, let's have a look at this. What's this say? How to do turns explode. Mugu do not like explosions. Ah! So these will explode. One. So as you can see, there's a little red mark. If it goes inside there, boom. So the objective is to obviously not lose everything to the turnips. Of course, I'll be needing a few more dead people soon. So they can, you know, sleep with them and make more. Okay, let's have a look. Where do I want to go? So I need five. That's all I need. Just five. This is the entirety of the game. You go around, the puzzles get more and more difficult. Like the one I was on. Still easy, but obviously it's a bit more... A uh, bit more complex. But yeah, the AI of your little Mugus isn't the best. They get stuck on a lot of things. Bit of a shame, but there you are. What's this? Explosions cause fire. Fire kills thick Mugu, but spicy Mugu love it. Don't have any spicy Mugu. So you do have to kind of wiggle around for the path riding to work. But even if you go both directions just to explore, you don't really lose in this one. There we are. So still got enough left. And there we are. Done. Is that what we just did? Water. Let's just do seven. As you can see, it gets more and more advanced. Step one explosion, step two. Okay, let's. Uh, one there. Oh, they all just died from fire. There we go, sleep with the dead. That's for one to hit. Ah. So, yeah, I have to get through an air, which means burning it all down. And not burning my Mugus down. But yeah, this is all about the game. You have to figure out what your types do. Use them to get through to new zones. As you can see, I can't burn that down. So I'm going to have to go another way. Luckily, I burned that down over there. So I'm going to have to go this way. So there's thinking involved. So far, I've not really found anything really hidden. I don't really think it's... Um, Meant to be too advanced, but who knows? There are a lot of levels. Blow that. There we are. And there we go. So you literally are only getting the primes. So I don't know if you do anything with them. And now I find it level 8 where I call it out. Gooey Mugu. Gooey mo mushrooms are not pleasant. So we get a new type here. Most Mugu are blown away, I win most. Okay. Are you? Yes. Okay. Gooey Mugu. Huh. Okay. Okay. How do I restart? So what do I do here then? So as you can see, sometimes it doesn't really tell you. Go do this. Oh! What is this? No! Although that is pretty cool. Oh! Thick Mugu. Okay, I need to be dry then. So I need you guys to stay here while I go and get you thicker. As you can see, it's all about figuring out what the hell to do. Yeah, 
Yeah, so Thick Mugu are fine. And we're done. Simple. So it's all about learning what you need to do. And like I say, it holds your hand significantly at the very beginning. That's fine. You're not the only creature you've ever come back in Mugu. Ah, see, now we're learning new things. Come back here. Come back here. The spicy Mugu can bow. Screw each every one of you. That'll teach you. Oh. And done. So we're learning more about the world. So there's only 24 levels that I can see here. There might be more. I can only see what I see. It's a first impression, of course. Mugu popular control is tricky about between indiscriminate murder and careful cultivation. Okay, I have indiscriminate murder and careful cultivation. Okay. So what? I have to use these to break these? Huh. Okay, that did all work. Oh wait, I see what happened here. Okay, burn it. That's what I need to do. It, what I didn't actually have it set up. I thought they were the sticky. They're not. They're the spicy. So you know, a little bit of variety. So now I have to carefully burn my way through without losing everything. Wait, what? Is that it? Wait, how much do I need to use for one of these burns? I have thirteen. Takes three. That was stuck in the sign. So yeah, the AI is not the best. So I have three left because that one's stuck in the sign. So yeah, the AI definitely needs work. But again, indie. So I don't think you will get that kind of improvement. It'd be nice if you did. I don't quite see how I can complete this. I've got enough corpses. And now it's making me think. Even here, there's no corpses. Over here, there's a dead end. Hmm. There must be hidden corpses somewhere. Okay, let's restart. So yeah, this now start to finally be a bit more advanced. Okay, that's 12. Wait, what? I think it was 13 the first. Now we have 15. What? That's even more than last time. Okay, now two is... Come on. Another one's now stuck. So yeah, the AI pathfinding needs a lot of work, especially if the whole objective of the game is to pathfind your little guys when they get stuck all the time. Because now I can't get through here because that one's stuck. Oh man, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. But now I have three. Why did it give me 15 this time? So, yeah. Okay. Switch Mugu, dismiss Mugu, interact, targeting ability, targeting that, beckon. Hmm. So you get stuck. So, I have five. So, you grab this one. I get 12. There's got to be more skulls hidden somewhere. Yeah, that's 15. Careful cultivation. Hmm. I'm 
starting to wonder. No, I can't go over this. Okay. I no longer wonder. So we're going to burn through nine straight away. So we're going to throw another three at that dead end and see what's over there. Because we need more. A lot more. And there wasn't any more. But yeah, I don't need too much to say about this game, really. Like, what's over here? Anything? Oh, one. Okay, they're exploding on it. I just gave you the ones I lost on it. So yeah, I can't actually reach that, can I? Wait. Huh. I don't see how the way to do this. One has not enough minions. But it's the whole of the game. The pathfinding needs work. Significant work. Because you guys get stuck in bushes all the time. Eight. Now I've got eleven. I got fifteen last time. And it also randomly does stuff like that. So yeah, there's some interesting things going on. Like, I had fifteen at one point. Now I have eleven. Eleven is nowhere into getting me what I need. Now I have eight. Like, why do I now have nine? There's a few major inconsistencies in this game. Major inconsistencies. Like, why do I now have nine? Do I keep on trying until it gives me the right number? Just a glitch? I just came through the first air. I used up all three. Five. Yeah, Gauntlet, get to the finish. Maybe that burns down. We'll try on this. We'll try on this green. Okay, give me 15 again. Okay, burn this. Okay, I it's... I wasn't right. And now another one's stuck. There we go. So yeah, there are a few mm, issues they definitely need to sort out for this style of game. Although I don't quite get how this is a gauntlet, where sometimes it gives me 15, sometimes it gives me 7. That seems wildly inconsistent to me, but yeah. um, The game should be out now. I'll get the details up as always. Let me have a look. Version 1.25 has recently released. Having a quick look at the stats for the game. But yeah, it's um it's alright. It's got a lot of issues. It's only £7.19, so probably like $9, $10. It's available. It is early access. So hopefully they will fix some stuff, because like I say, they need to fix the pathfinding. Getting your Moogoos stuck in trees is... How do I put this? Stupid. Like, very stupid. Because they're literally how you play the game. So I need to work on the pathfinding. That's 11 now. Don't understand. Do I get 25 at some point? Careful cultivation. So, yeah. It's fun. I've had some fun. Obviously, level 10 is a bit of an interesting one. Maybe just leave them around for a bit to get better. That's six. That's seven. Now I have seven. And yet, sometimes I can stand... I, it makes no sense. But yeah, it's early access. Hopefully they fix this, because... Like I say, obviously I could probably finish this level pretty quickly if I wasn't trying to show you how the game works. But that's just massively, massively random. 
And that's not really what you want in your game about puzzle solving. Randomly being given random amounts of random critters which randomly get stuck in bushes. So yeah, hopefully they fix it. Otherwise, I'd highly recommend rating around and seeing how things go. But either way, I've been the Fallen Shogun. This has been Terrarium. I'd highly recommend rating. Highly recommend rating. Links as always in the description for the game. You're going to actually go buy it yourself, have a look. And all that. But either way, I'll see you in the next one, people. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.